What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jonathan Gibbity. We're welcome to back to another episode of the Saga Log. Hopefully, y'all are having a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be a lot more softer toned in today's episode as it is 11 o'clock at night. We honestly, it's been a, it has been a long day for me personally. Thank God I've been listening to a book from the book blathers that Jonas has on his channel. So, if you guys don't know, over on just Jonas, I know, subtle plug early in the video, whatever. Um, but that's probably gonna be the basis of today's conversation because honestly, so Jonas has a, um, channel, uh, his Just Jonas channel, and he does this thing called Book Blathers. So every week he reads a book, um, kind of talks about the book in a way in which he doesn't want to give away the main events of the book so you can read it, but, um, tries to interest you in reading the book. So the book that uh, he had really, really enjoyed was Next by Michael Lewis. And, you know, if Jonas enjoys something a lot and is super enthusiastic about it, usually it means it's really a good book. And so I have really been delving into this book because, you know, it, 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 it interests me. It was something that I wanted to kind of, you know, test out, see. Because, you know, you never really know what book's going to catch your eye or anything. And basically, um, the main... I'm not done with the book, by the way. So, uh, what I say may not be 100% accurate by the end of this book. Um, I'm going to preface this right now. I am only 42% of the way done. So, it is. I'm not 100% done. But basically, uh, the central theme is the identity that you can have online and kind of the future that online created because of the just kind of simplistic things that you don't think about as far as consequences to the action of having the access to the information that we all knew so or that we all know now but didn't know like and it was specialized back like 20 30 years ago so um i Honestly, I'm not going to talk too much about this book because of the same thing about book blathers. I really don't want to, um, you know, give away this book. It is a six hour audiobook, so it is actually really easy and amazing to read. Um, and I don't know, I just have had a lot of fun reading this book, and it really, I guess, gives you a different clarity and a different kind of perspective than you actually thought about. Um, and something that we would have thought about is like the whole thing about how my degree, right? I have a degree in, or well, it's not, I, I almost have a degree in information technologies and cybersecurity. I'm two quarters away from getting my degree, which is extremely exciting. Um, being two quarters away, I look at it and I'm like, my degree now is worth and projected to be worth way more than it was 30, 40 years ago. And <laughs> it's crazy to me to really think about it in the sense of, wow, like because of the future changing and everything that happened, yes, is there a greater knowledge Dispar not disparity, that, that's the wrong word. A greater knowledge depth, yes. Does everybody have the access to a lot of different kinds of knowledges? Yes. Now, do people utilize the information that they have at their grasp? No, because if people utilize the stuff that they had at the grasp, people wouldn't be as stupid as they are. But, you know, you know that's besides the point. So, I don't know. I find it interesting, and it's like... You can be the person that you want to be online, right? You you could literally just pull off this facade and be totally fine, which is kind of scary if you think about it, but also that's what the internet's allowed. There, it, it, The internet is a place that really doesn't have too many rules and too many restrictions. Yes, they're building on that now, but it still is yet to really be built upon which is like just generally scary if you think about it in that kind of context oh boy 
Hold on. Nope, that's not it. Darn, okay. It's weird to think about it in that kind of a context, but it's really, it's true. Like, it, it tr truly could be whatever. You could be who you want, when you want, and how you want, you can attain it how you want to attain it. Um, and like I said, it's really cool to think about it in that way because it's like, wow, there is a ton going on in this world, and, like, we just are every... We're going at a faster pace and growing at a faster pace, which is just another thing that's weird to think about, is that we are just getting, like, I guess more knowledge... Not more quickly, that's not the right word that I... Because that's just not what it is, huh... Sorry, I'm trying to figure out. I think I can do this. No. No. Ah, oh, dang it. I forgot this is gym puzzle, which is kind of bad. Because I'm trying to get on to the... Oh, I already caught her. Okay. I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get on the... Um, oh, wait. I'm trying to get on that one. Hold the phone. That should push me down. Yep, got it. Yeah! Let's go. I didn't actually spend too long on the ice puzzle! Oh my god! Uh, I can't believe it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and buy Bryce. I'm sorry. I didn't need to do that, but like, I'm very, very surprised that it didn't take me long at all to do that. You're gonna leave with a Spiro! Oh my god, if you're gonna have trash too, I'm gonna be so sad. Snub! Oh my god, no! Really? <laughs> Why? Uh, you had legit hot garbage too? <sighs> Why? Uh, all these gyms are literally having hot garbage. Uh, it's making me upset. Joy, I need you to come over and like, uh, like, I, I need that because I'm getting triggered over the stupidity of this game. Why can we annoying? Okay. We're fine. We're out. <laughs> but, uh, oh, is that? Yeah, Professor Elm, Professor Elm. John, oh my god, uh, something's weird happening at the Team Rocket Hideout. Oh my god, how'd you know it was the Team Rocket Hideout? I don't even know. Okay, I'm being, I'm being obnoxious. I can, I already am. I, okay, so, <laughs> the reason I'm being obnoxious, um, I, I know, that's a great sentence. But anyway, the reason why I'm being I really am just sick and tired of the, the way today has gone. Literally everything that could have gone wrong went wrong today. And I'm just like, uh, I hate those days. Like, okay, so they are, my work is extremely lucky that I extended my shift because the day before Easter, no, 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 yeah, the day before Easter, our closer decided to call out. I extended my shift um, a couple days ago. We didn't know the closer was going to call out, obviously, because called, they, they, they called out today. I'm like, are you kidding me right now? Like, you choose the absolute, the absolute busiest day of the freaking week to call out. Thanks. I appreciate it. And so I, because I had extended my one to, um, or not one, excuse me, my three to seven shift to a 1 to 9.30 shift, because you know, money, money is money, yada, yada, yada. I knew it was going to be a busy day, and so I was like, oh, that day's going to go by faster. Well, like I said, I was supposed to have help. That was, like, all predicated upon the fact that I was going to have help. And the jewelry closer didn't know what they were doing, because of course they didn't. And then the beauty closer didn't do her thing. And, like, nobody did their stuff. And I'm like... Oh my god. Because then, 
because I'm the only one that knows how to do this stuff. Because, you know, it's not like the H2 should be able to know how to do it. But, you know, I'm just, you know, B8. I'm bitching. But, you know, it's fine. It happens. Whatever. Um, it's like, it frustrated the crap out of me because I'm like, I'm the only one that knows how to do this stuff. And, and then you had the color call out. And then, you know, it just, it just was piling on and on and on and on. So I just gave up today. <laughs> I really did. Like, personally, I really did. I'm going to crash and I'm going to be super excited to fall asleep. But not after I record way too much because why not? It's not like I'm already losing my voice as it is. But it's just because I care and I love y'all and... Like, this is actually what I want to do. There's a difference. Like, right, you have the things you actually want to do, and then the things you have to do. And this is one of the things I want to do, because I've already gotten the have-tos done. I double-checked to make sure I had the have-tos done, and I did, so we're good. Uh, and it just is like, ugh. It's so frustrating to me that people are just so obnoxiously dumb. Like, how can you be... So and then people try and, like shift their stories to get their way and even though you're like bro boy i'm not that stupid i i i, I am literally like i don't know I, I talk about this all the time but what is people's assumption with retail associates and being stupid like i don't get it and it really just it's dumb it makes them look dumb like yes yeah, some retail people don't know some things like that just is a thing, right? Not everybody knows everything. Like, if everybody knew everything, then, like, nothing would be valuable. No information would be valuable if everybody knows everything. Which, <laughs> surprise, that's why the smart people get to profit off the stupid people. Yes. Uh, and even there's something called stupidly smart. And being stupidly smart is okay, too. Um, but yes. Anyway, it's weird because you have to... A lot of people market the stuff to the... It's... Okay. I am going to go on a random tangent that I really probably should not go on, so I won't. But Joy <laughs> would have appreciated it because it would have been one of John's best rants ever. So I might just rant at Joy about this because Joy would appreciate it. <laughs> um... But yeah, that's probably not a common audience thing because I'm talking about stupid, like people being stupid and the smart people profiting off of that and yada, yada, yada. Like, I'm digging a grave at this point if I continue talking about it. Um, anyway, Barry's level 59. Uh, 59. Apparently, I'm one of those stupid people because that's not 59. That's 39. Anyway, Farfetch'd is going to come out. A lot of our team has so much health. It's very odd. Um, and... Also, y'all may be asking why I stopped trading Chuckalina. Well, one, it's freaking annoying. But also, the wild encounters are like in the low to mid 20s throughout the entirety of the game. Like Victory Roads encounters, I think, are 22 or either 22 or 32. And so it's like, if I keep leveling up Shuckalita, it'll get to a point where I can't actually use Shuckalita. Like, if you understand where I'm going with that. And if I can't use Shuckalita, what's the point to catch... Or if I can't use Shuckalita for a purpose, what's the point, you know? So that is why that is the case. So you guys know and understand that um, as a thing. So, dude, I, John has been so awkward like i don't know what i'm gonna do about johto because johto's just been like i'm not gonna say the word because y'all aren't gonna infer what i want to say but not gonna say it because i don't want to die um but like i just have been we're at that point in johto where you just one bop everything like that's why i'm gonna i'm gonna speed up way more in johto than any other like ah I don't know. Let me hold back on that statement because Ruby, not Ruby and Sapphire, Ruby and Sapphire, like I said, I love the way that the pacing is in that game. I've said this before. Um, I said, literally said that's today, which is why I'm like, John, you said this already, but the episode doesn't go out until Saturday on Aaron's channel. So realistically, I could talk about it, but I love the pacing in generation three and you can actually run and you don't actually feel, you don't feel like you need speed up. Even if you have it, it's actually more detrimental than good. Whereas in Johto, because it's like, things are going to get bopped, it's better. <laughs> right? So, I don't know. Um, and Gen 1, I didn't feel like I needed it. And Gen 2, I just do. I, probably because the animations, to be 
fair. I totally went to the wrong Pokemon. And if I lose because I'm being risky, then whatever. Yeah, even even at a disadvantage, it doesn't matter. Like, ugh, I don't get it. Okay, so... I just... Okay, so I love that Tom Brady is literally the highest level Pokemon by a long shot right now. <laughs> like, of course it's Tom Brady that's the highest level Pokemon. Tom Brady is almost his age, guys. He's level 42. Uh, switch. Okay, I'm switching into Sparks. S Actually, I can switch into really anybody. It'd be fine. But I'm going to switch into Sparks because Sparks can take hits and we need that, so. Scyther. Oh, that was perfect. That couldn't have been more perfect. Um, But yeah, so I figured that would be the easiest case scenario. Um, do I actually need to go through here? I feel like what I'm doing isn't required until later, but... Like, I think I went in the wrong order. If I being 100% perfectly honest, I think I went in the wrong order. But we'll find out here. It needs a card key. Okay. I definitely went in the wrong order if it needed a card key. But, you know, we'll continue through and we'll get all this. Fight most of the trainers. Get levels. Deal with Claire. Because Claire's going to be level 46. So it's not like we're... We still have a couple, of, a lot of levels to go before we really have to worry because with Claire being level 46, it does mean that even then there's going to be a lot of training involved, so we're okay. Like, I should fight these trainers, and it's really not cost. It's literally just costing me a singular episode, and even with the speed up, it's not really costing me that much time. Vaporeon, let's go, let's go, let's go. Because, yeah, that's level 4. Oh, not level 40. Um, Sunflora again. More Sunfloras. You know what? I'll take it. If we fight, like, 100 Sunfloras, I don't mind. <laughs> Personally, it's a good Pokemon to be fighting. So, um, also, I... Oh, wait. Dang it. They don't carry their IV or EVs. We're... Never mind. I was like, oh, they carry this. No, they don't, actually. Don't I have to go up here... And I fight... Oh, no. I talked to this doodly. Okay. Yeah. No. This... Let me talk... Oh. Do I... Bruh. There's an invisible wall there. That's an oof. You, 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 you came to rescue me. Oh, my God. Is that what you were expecting? <laughs> You're wrong. I'm an imposter. I pretended to be the real thing to prepare for our takeover. Do you know where the real director is? Sure, I'll tell you, but only if you can beat me in a Pokemon battle. <laughs> it's a... <laughs> I just... Oh, that's... The, aren't you like level 30s anyway, so it doesn't matter? Oh, actually, you're pretty decent 30s. When I was when I said 30s, I was kind of expecting low 30s, to be honest. I'm actually happy that you're uh, adequately leveled. Not going to lie. I'm actually very impressed and very happy about that. Another Nidoran. Of course, more Nidorans, the better, right? That's a bop. Okay, so... <laughs> oh, my God. I hate this. I'm like, in my brain, I'm like, oh, we should be the point at Forcefully Evolved. But we're not, even though this is literally the final gym. We're not at the forcefully evolved point. This is the ace, by the way. And that gets two shot. Um, so yeah, not being at the forcefully evolved point at this point is really weird. I mean, I guess it's level 34s. But the, I think the part that makes it weird isn't the fact. It's just where we are in the game, blah, blah, blah. Now we got our basement key. Yay. Do you do they still fight us? I feel like they would. They do. Ugh. That's unfortunate that they would that they, they still fight us. So yeah, now we gotta go to the basement. So now we get to go to the fun. Oh. Yeah, now we get to go to the basement, and the basement it will be interesting because uh, I honestly think we actually, you know what? It should be pretty easy. 
I'm if I do it correctly, it'll take no time at all. So we're going to actually keep this into the episode because I realistically don't see a problem keeping it in. And then we can go do Ice Path in the, in this ep, in the next episode because and then we can take on Claire and yada yada yada. Like honestly, if I'm being 100% with y'all, I think it's smarter to do it this way. So and I can just go in this direction, right? No, I cannot. That is false. Uh, does it lead me here then? Is this the top? Nope. Hmm. Is it's somewhere? I know it is. There it is. Okay. I'm like, I know it's somewhere. I'm gonna t and I already took on those trainers, so we are good to head in. The basement key unlocked the door. Let's go. And then it's. Hold it right there. Oh, we fight Joy too, don't we? That's right! We fight Joy! Oops! I forgot about that! Um, ah, uh, did I go to the Pokemon Center to heal? I hope so. I did. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I was gonna say, if I oof so hard that I forgot to go to the Pokemon Center, then that's just my bad. But yeah, we boof that. Do we boof half? We just boof Joy's team, probably. Uh, like, it's just how it is. It's just how it has to be. Drill peg, that boofs that. Joy's gonna send in a far fetched. Yeah, it's not like we got, you know, sparks to boof that. <laughs> like, it's just we counterplay everything, and that's sad. Piloswine? Do we counterplay Piloswine? Yeah, we do. We, we do, though. Tom Brady. Surf? It probably doesn't. Oh, it does. Yep, we, that still is a boof. Okay. And a hypno. Yay! Joy has a hypno now! That actually might be a little bit more tough to take on. Um, very proud of Joy for having Hypno. I'm going to send in Barry, though, and I'm going to put it to sleep. Because that's what we have Barry here to do. And then we drill pack. It's, it's, it's a 2-8 KO, though. So it is something. It's a 3-8 KO. So it is at least something. And Joy does put up some formidable fight with a Hypno. But still, Barry took care of it. Barry be nailing it. And, yeah, that's just how it has to be. I'm sorry, Joy. It's just, it's just we had you. We had you beat from the beginning, unfortunately. Okay, it's boop. I think it's just one, two, three, right? Oh, we got a love ball. We love that. Ooh, Thunder Wave. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I'm actually saying bye to Thunder Punch because Thunder Wave is awesome. Mr. Mime, we just boop with that. And Poliwag, we boop with that. And boop. And boop. Okay, now we should be able to just follow this out. Right? No, it is not that way. Okay. So that it's the backwards way. So I'm going to reset the puzzle. And then it's backwards. So it's three, two, or is this going to block it? No, yeah, so, okay, perfect. I, I was like, if it's not this way, it's backwards. At least I remembered. Like, I'm proud of myself for remembering that, because I didn't need to necessarily remember that, but my brain did, so... Good on me, I guess. <laughs> I'm like, if it's not forwards, it's backwards. Also, I'm going to put Barry in the front. Even though Sparks has been killing it, I want everybody to get some experience. And I'm going to have to train up anyway, so it's not like it's that big of a deal. Also, it worked out massively in my favor. So, it works out. Oh, I double sport. Well, that's fine. 
Oh my god, like, how dare you? Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no, we're fine, we're fine. We don't have to hit that button, it's okay. And that's the real director. But yeah, so, oh my gosh, yay. Actually, wait, can I just drill pack it? Yeah, we're fine. Barry, you're level four. Oh god, I wasn't paying attention. That's my fault. That would have been so my fault. I need to see the thing. The, also, another thing that I know that I know happens if you don't pay attention is bad things will happen really fast because you're not in the frame of mindset. You're just in the cruise control, and that's kind of where I'm at right now in the series. I feel like, which is I know a terrible thing to say when you guys are about to kill things, but. It is true. I just, I feel, oh, I can't carry any more items. My bag actually ran out. Oh my god. I thought it wasn't supposed to happen in Generation 2. I didn't realize your bag actually ran out in Gen 2. Uh. I guess we're going to use a rare candy because why not? I'm going to use it on Sparks because he just leveled up. Perfect. We got the gold battery. Okay, so we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, no, I still fight you. Okay. Ooh, Wobbuffet. Wait, Wobbuffet won't have the thing. The thing my doodles, so it doesn't really matter. And then Kakuna gets bopped. See, our team is just too good. Uh, it really is. Okay, so the director was right there anyway, so. I'm gonna just giga drain it. Oh, it, oh no, I didn't die. Okay. That's. I mean, it didn't. It really didn't die. I'm actually. I am very impressed that it didn't die. I would have, like, guessed 99.9% .9 of the time it would have died. We found a TM. Yes. Okay. Who? What? You came to rescue me? Oh, my God. Thank you. Is the radio tower? What's happening? Oh, my God. Here's the car key. Thank you. I appreciate you. You're awesome. And where does this lead? I, actually, I honestly don't remember. Quick Claw. Do not need that. So we're fine. What is this? I don't remember that at all. That's weird. Zoe, shut up. I don't care. Damn, that was savage, but it's also true. It's like, Zoe, you can just be quiet now. Um, here's the radio. Oh, wait. This is not the radio tower. Where am I? Oh, I'm in the department store. Oh, my God. I did not know that the department store led there here. I really I really did not act. I did not know that that led to the department store. Okay, well that's cool. Now we got a radio tower level. Okay, actually, you know what? I think this is a great place to end because this is the longest episode of Saga Lock ever. Um, and I really don't want to continue making these episodes longer because I'm like, oh, let's do more, let's do more. Ha 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 I forget this episode. This episode is actually a long uh, series of events. So anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying Soglock. Love you all so much. Um, you guys are getting a triple upload, so uh, I'm sorry. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye, love you, bye.